Okay, so I want to look at uh, stem and leaf plots from chapter two. We don't use this a lot, but it's something people may not be familiar with. So um, here's an example. It says, use the stem and leaf plot of home prices in dollars to answer the following questions. And we can see this stem and leaf plot here. So the stems here are being given with a place value of hundred thousands. So one here means $100,000, a two here means $200,000, a three, $300,000, et cetera. The leaves or the leaf, the leaf here is in 10,000. So a three here means 30,000, a five here means 50,000, six, 60,000, et cetera. So what you do when you have say a four in the stem and a seven in the leaf, it's the four would be $400,000 and the seven would be $70,000, the seven ten thousands. And you put, you add them together. So $400,000 plus $70,000, $470,000. Okay, so the questions that were being asked are what are the minimum and maximum home prices? What is the median home price? And what price represents the mode? So the first question, what is the minimum and maximum home price? So the minimum home price up here is a one in the stem and a three in the leaf. So one in the stem, again, that's 100,000. So a, a one there means 100,000. A three, excuse me, a three in the leaf of 10,000 would mean there are three 10,000s or 30,000. And then we add them together and the minimum home price, I'm gonna add dollars in here. Minimum home price would be 130. Thousand um, dollars. I'm gonna, yeah, I think we're okay. Uh, then to find the maximum home price, well, that's the last thing in the in the stem and leaf plot. Notice the nice thing about well, the stem and leaf plots are concise. There, the data is automatically sorted, and you have you don't have all these zeros floating around that you would if you listed out all these numbers: one hundred and thirty thousand, one hundred and fifty thousand, one hundred and sixty thousand. It would be very cumbersome. So by using the uh, stems up here and the leaves to different place values, we can more succinctly represent the data. We can do it uh, with less space and, and easier to read if we understand what the graph represents. Okay, so the maximum home price would be a five in the 100,000, which is 500,000, and a five in the 10,000, which is 50,000, and you add them together and you're gonna get $550,000. Moving on to the next part. It's asking about the median home price. So when we're looking for median, we wanna count our data elements. So these are the stems, the leaves actually tell me how many data elements there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's 18 data elements here. So with these 18 home prices, the median will be the average of the two in the middle since there's not a single value in the middle. So that's going to be the ninth and the tenth data values divided by two. So let's go back up to the graph. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to take these two, make sure there's eight on either side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight smaller than it, there's eight bigger than it. Those are the two in the middle, and we're going to average them, but we're not averaging six and nine, we're averaging. 200,000 and 60,000, so that's 260,000 with 290,000. The ninth and the tenth data elements, 260,000 plus 290,000. Make sure they're in parentheses before we divide by two, if you're, especially if you're using Excel or something. If I wanted to do this computation in Excel, um, that has the advantage on the exam that I can see your video of Excel, and therefore, if you make a mistake, I'm able to award you partial credit for that mistake. So um, like, let's say you type, you miss a zero or something, and, and it's really clear that you've just made a typo. Sometimes I don't even take points off for that type of thing. I usually don't for, for that type of error. So if I use a calculator, if you use a calculator, I can't see what you're doing. But if you can get in the habit of using Excel for your computation, so I would do this in Excel, I would put equals to mean I'm gonna do an equation, and then it's 260,000 plus, 290,000 in parentheses and then divided by two. So I need to add the things on top and then divide by two. And here I get 275,000 
if I'm not sure I can add commas to this by choosing this little comma here. Uh, and I wouldn't want these zeros, so I would want to round it down again, 275,000. Um, another thing about Excel is you can do the problem like in the same place as whatever number you're working on. So if you do this on homework, say for example, in chapter three, you know, as you go down rows, you can be working on problem six and you can do the computation in problem six. And then if six has different parts, A, B, and C, we can do those computations across in the columns and it makes it very easy for you to check your work if you're going back, say, at the end of, if you do it in chapter three, then you'll be able to do that on the exam. It'll be sort of easy for you. Um, and if you do that, then at the end of the exam, you can go back and check, check your work much more easily because you'll know where everything is. Okay, that was just a side note, not having to do really with stem and leaf plots. Um, and then one more part here which is asking us what the mode is. And remember the mode is just the, um, the part that occurs the most frequently. So if we go back up here and we, and we look, so which, you know, which data element occurs the most frequently? Well, the, this twos and ones occur twice. So that's 210,000, they occur twice, but I noticed three twos here. So that's with a four. So that's the most occurring value. So that's 420,000. A four in the stem, 400,000, and two in the leaf, 20,000. So a result there of 420,000. And that should do it for this problem. Let me just summarize it on one page for you. Um, you know, and then what we can do is we can change the, um, I can change the values of the stems and the leaves. So if we go back up here, if these stems were instead in thousands, for example, then a two here would be 2000 and the leaf would be in hundreds, one less place value usually. Um, so you, when you're doing the homework, you wanna pay attention to what's going on up here with, the headers and what are what are the what is the place value of the stem? What is the place value of the leaf? So again, here it's hundred thousand. So a two up here means two hundred thousand. A six over here means six ten thousands or sixty thousand. Put them together, two hundred and sixty thousand. Okay, and I just want to want to try to get this all on one page, but I don't I don't know that I can. Um, I like to have that at the end of the video. So if you just want to look at the last part, you can get sort of a review of it. Uh, there's that, of course, I can't see the original problem here, um, but here they are. So if you wanted to copy the table down, there it is. But you could pause the video. And if you wanted to copy the solution down, there it is. Okay, I hope that helps. And if not, message me or let me know if you have further questions on these or anything else.